100%. Uh, I mean, when you go out there and you kind of see what they said uh, last year and then, you know, the, the coach had a press conference before the game and, you know, you kind of take those things personal. Uh, as, as a player, as a coach, I think you have to. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, you, you talk about the way this defense seems to have just done a 180 from last year. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you just got guys that are that you know I said you know before the season that that were tired of losing and and you started putting a little bit more into it. And I think you guys are getting to see that product on the field. They ran for 319 yards. They ran for minus four tonight. Mm -hmm. Comments? I mean, I mean, I guess when, when you when you when you sell out, you gotta you know kind of back up back up your talk. So, but. You and your 200 yard kid got three too. Mm-hmm. Uh, was there some satisfaction to that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think after the comments they made last year, uh, absolutely. So, You guys forced those three consecutive turnovers in the third quarter. What was working on those drives? Man, we were just we, – we were blitzing them, and, and we were making the quarterback, you know, feel, you know, off balance, and, and, and he didn't have enough time. So when, when he decided to throw the ball, we were there, and, you know, we, we made the plays. Oh, you, oh, you talk about this defense, just how good it can be. I mean, I, I think we've only scratched the surface. Uh, you know, I think I think we got a lot more to gain, and and you know, once we get some of the younger guys to come along and and, and they're able to play, you're going to see something that's 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 a pretty serious defense. Your next home game against Cincinnati. What are you looking forward to? I mean, we just got to come out and compete. You know, they're going to come out here ready to play, and and we got to you know be able to match their intensity. I'm, they're a good team, so we're going to have to figure it out. Is it, is it nice to kind of be able to get back to a rhythm now? Maybe going to Saturdays, you've had to play Friday, Thursday coming. Uh, you know, I think, you know, that's just kind of how it was dealt. Uh, I think we've, we've done a good job of, of rising to the occasion and coming out and competing and playing. Um, and, and, and we've had two really good victories these last two games on, on these short weeks. You guys are blitzing quite a bit, but you're getting a lot of pressure with that front four. How big have those guys been? Oh, those guys are huge. Uh, I've always I've said this since I got here, you're only as good as your defensive line. And, and we got a pretty special defensive line. We've got a pretty good core group of guys there that, that, that get the job done. And, and they're deep. they got, you know, the young guys on there can play. So... Um, you know, they're, they're crucial to our success. You know, you're, you're only as good as your defensive line, and I think they're playing out of their mind. Y'all kind of just were going to sell out on their quarterback and kind of leave the secondary hanging. Just That was kind of the strategy, right? Uh, we, I mean, we go into the games, and we, we want to pressure them, and we, we want to, you know, make quarterbacks feel uncomfortable and kind of have to get the ball out. Um, and, and that's kind of what you saw tonight. What's it like bringing along guys like Nico, Greg Reeves, and Mozzie Wilkins, those guys contributing and making success? I think with those three guys you mentioned, those are three guys that are hungry. Those are three guys that want to be good. And, and you can see it in their work ethic. You can see it, in, and, and they re represent the USF defense, right? They represent themselves, right? Um, and, they're, and they're living up to this brand, and, and USF means something to them. How much confidence does that give you guys as a unit, as a whole, when you see these guys stepping up like that? Uh, you know, it's, it's fantastic because the trust factor that a lot of people talk about, you have it now because you got guys that are bought in and kind of know the system. So each other, everyone's trusting each other, and, and, and it's a, it's a good, good feeling. It's funny you should use the word hungry because that's exactly what I said to Coach. You're playing like a hungry team. Is this basically unfinished business this year? Uh, I, absolutely. I think, you know, we, we go out here and, and the thing we talk about is winning an American Athletic Conference Championship. And the last two years, we, we haven't been able to reach that point. Um, so uh, you, you see guys and, and you, everyone talks about how our preseason ranking and, and how good we're supposed to be. I think you see a bunch of guys that don't care about that and just want to play football. You mentioned the comments that Temple made last year. What were some of those comments? Uh, I think you know, uh, number four, or the, the running back said number four had us fall to our knees last year, and and I think in any time you, you sit there, you kind of telling someone they're soft, and 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 when people get told they're soft, I don't think they really like it that much. So I mean, you you saw us, you know, respond to that. Is this the most dominating performance your team has had defensively here at USF? I mean, we've had some pretty good games. You know, when you know, even last year we had some. Again, you think UConn, we had a pretty dominant game. When Allen was here, we had some pretty dominant games. I mean, this is up there, though. Definitely, you know, you know BJ's doing a heck of a job, man. BJ, BJ's lights out. Um, but, yeah, that, that was a really good game, and, 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 and we had a complete game defensively. So, yeah, that was, that was up there. I didn't play against Temple last year, so I wasn't physically out there to see, you know what I mean, this, this is my first time, well, my second time playing them since I've been here. So I couldn't really answer if they're different or not, but I know our team, you know what I mean, I feel like we, you know, we getting better and better each week. I, I said to coach, you look like a hungry team. Unfinished business, is that basically what it is right now? Yeah, I mean, you got to stay home, you know what I mean? You got to always achieve greatness and keep achieving, you know, you can't never get complacent because, you know, each day you got to go out and prove something, so that's our mentality. Each day we got to go out and show that, you know, 
we deserve to be here. We deserve to be ranked. We deserve to have all these good numbers. So each day we got to go out and prove that. And you're living proof the next play could be your last, right? Yeah, I'm living proof, yes. Thank God. The next play can be your last. So that's another reason why you know, I look at things kind of different from everybody. And you guys had a hurricane last week, a Friday game, now another short week on Thursday. How do you guys approach this two-week span? I mean, in our, in our eyes, we do it. We, this is what we do. We, we say we soldiers. So no matter what, we had to play Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, our mentality is not to make no excuses. We don't make no excuses. We just go out and work. We played, like I said, we played, we played great. We played for each other. Everybody put everything on the line for one another, and we just played fast. <clears throat> How much was this a pride game considering last year? Yeah, most definitely was a pride game, but it was the next game, so we took it very seriously. We had another ESPN game. We wanted to show the world that, what we really about. How you, big was the, the pressure the guys got up front, the front four? Oh, man, they the guys. They the guys. We think we doing something back there. The D-line is the, the box is tearing it up. They showing, they, showing, they showing what they really about, and they just making our job way easier. What do you think has been the key for success for you guys on defense so far? Um, just just preparing, really. Preparing real, real, real hard, following directions, um, looking for the little, the little details, finding the little details, and playing fast and playing for one each other because we're a family and we play like it. Take us through the interception. Hey, it was my turn. It was my time to make a play, and I made it. D, like you said, D-line. I know D-line made, made a quarterback make a bad throw, and I, and I counted on it. Right now, is this defense ahead of this offense? We, we play for each other, uh, so we, are, we really don't care about who, who getting the spotlight. But really, the D, when we think about defense, we just do the dirty work. We don't want the shine. That's for the offense. <laughs> we just do the dirty work. But, you know, last year, everybody's throwing shade at you guys. You're, you know, against the ropes the whole game, and now, now this year you've been dominant. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that, we get a little success, but we just, we just blue-collar blue guys on defense and just, just grind, keep grinding, just keep grinding. Coach Strong finally broke down and said, for some of you guys, this might have been a lot of revenge. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, yeah okay, it, was, it was some revenge, but like I said, it was the next game. And we had to, we most definitely had to win, and we gonna win. When's the last time you had two picks in one game? Uh, SMU. Really? Yeah. Last year? Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> but this is my first, this is my first time getting three turnovers though, so I feel like this is a big one for me. I mean, we started off slow, you know, beginning of the game we started off slow, you know, with a lot of penalties and stuff like that. I mean, we just got to get better. Do you guys feel like you left any points on the field tonight? I mean. We definitely did leave uh, a lot of points on, on the field tonight, but you know, uh, Emilio, uh, Emilio uh, kicking, he did an excellent job, you know, converting on the field goals. Darren, were you frustrated at all a couple times in the game? I mean, you know, I was frustrated a little bit, but it's just part of the game, you know, you got to stay in, stay in within the game, you know. You know, we overcame a lot of, you know, adversity coming into the game, and, you know, we got the W, so that's what, that's all what matters. It's easy to say it's another game, it's another game, but you guys kind of got embarrassed last year in Philly. I mean, how how much was this a personal night? I mean, it's definitely personal. You know, they stopped us from going to the championship last year. So, you know, that's all we were thinking about. You know, we can't let the board beat us. You know, we got to go out there and do our, do our job. Uh, each and every, uh, everybody on the field, you know, Defense did a hell of a job. Uh, excuse my language. <laughs> Defense did a, a great job, you know, getting a lot of turnovers and stuff like that. You know, it's just great, man. It's just. Just coming out there and getting a victory. If you get How compliments. satisfying is it to, to see your defense so create those chances by getting those interceptions, you know, forcing those Say it again? that kind of stuff? Just how satisfying is it to see your defense create those chances for you I guys? mean, it, it's great. You know, we got a lot of playmakers on, on the defense side. You know, everybody stepped up and, and did their job. You know, everybody was hungry just to make a play. And them guys did an excellent job tonight. Coach talks a little about we need rhythm more on, on offense. You know, wh what is it out there? Is it simple as the penalties, or do you feel like maybe there's some things you guys aren't you know, getting I mean, great out of the snap? Or? I mean, we start off slow. You know, the, the, the penalties are slowing us down a little bit, but, you know, we we getting the rhythm going. You know, we all just – you just got to get better each week, you know. You got to go out there and, and do your job. You had 26 touches tonight. That's a lot of hits you're taking. You going to spend some time in the tub tomorrow? I mean, I definitely am, but I don't feel like I had that many touches, you know, tonight. You know, my body feels great. You know, I came out healthy. You know, everybody came out healthy tonight, and, you know, we got the W, and that's a lesson. 
at number the time nine looked like Cam like Newton this. tonight, uh, lowering his shoulder. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you hold your breath on that? Oh, he definitely do look like Cam Newton. You know, he's a great player. You know, he can, you know, like I say, he can make anything happen with his legs and all. He's a great player. You know, I enjoy playing with him. After the first quarter, did you feel like your offensive line started to wear down the defense? Because we'll oh, start to open up. Oh, we definitely did start to wear, off, uh, wear down the defense. You know, the boys came out, you know, fighting, you know, being, being very physical. And, you know, we just got to get the momentum going. And them guys were just, you know, doing their job, you know, you know, taking control of the offensive line. How how easy is this offensive line making your life right now? Cam Ruff and just opening up oceans for you. I mean, it's definitely easy. You know, them guys are, you know, them guys are doing their job, you know. They just say, follow behind us, we're going to take you to the promised land. And, you know? and them guys, you know, I give all the credit to them guys because without them guys right now, we wouldn't be here right now standing right here. So, you know, I give credit to all them guys. And, you know, it's just great to have them guys blocking for us.